Hey guys, it's Megan Johnson. I am the Practical Scrapper. Um, I had asked on Instagram what I could make my next video about, and a lot of people asked about my workflow. Um, so I'm assuming when you want to know workflow, you're asking how I take my pictures and turn them into a page and then save them. Um, I, I'm hoping that's it. If, if there's any more that you want or need or have any other questions about my process, um, feel free to ask me on YouTube or message me on Instagram at The Practical Scrapper. Um, I just kind of made a sketch about of what I the process I go through when I'm making a page in the Project Life app. So um, I'll keep referring back to this. But... Um, this is, again, just a page in the Project Life app, and um, sometimes I'll go and embellish it and over. But this is the process that I go through to do that. Um, I'm usually working on current um, events and working with my current pictures. So number one, which pictures and events do I wanna work on? Um, it's usually current. I'm gonna just show you in my photos here. So um, I do have all my pictures, lots and lots of them in here. And um, I normally try to keep them organized in my albums. So you can see in here I have um, like my friend's wedding. I'm hoping to do some more pages of her wedding. I could probably get rid of some of these albums. I've finished... Um, like the New Year's Eve and Francie's Christmas and Christmas Eve Eve. I finished those, so I can I can probably get rid of some of these albums. But normally I just select my pictures and put them in an album, usually right after the event is over. I also keep my favorites. Um, I try to keep them cleaned out um, so that I can... Well, I have to go through and do it. I haven't done it in a while. Because um, my favorites will be those those pages that I, I really want to do something with, um, usually in over to do more of like a, um, like a single picture page, something a little more digital scrapbooky, not as much like a pocket page. So um, you can see in my albums, I have um, week two right here for the year. I'm doing Project 52 this year. Um, I Last year I used the Collect app, which I love. Um, I just didn't feel like it captured all of our everyday events. So as the week is nearing to an end, I, started, I just looked back through my camera roll and found pictures that represented our week and what it looked like. There's a lot of Francie, of course. She's home a lot. And... She's cute, <laughs> and my um, the her her little teacher at her school sends us lots of pictures. How cute is that? She's exploring the world of um, going potty on the potty, and it's been kind of fun. And so you can see, like this will be this <laughs> this is the aftermath of of um, like neglecting laundry for. All of the holidays so I looked through my last week and I made an album so that's what I'm gonna be doing in the project life app so here is my week two most of the pictures um, have been edited some of them I might need to as I put them in the pages I will show you so for my um, project 52 this year I've been trying to, well, I've done one week so far. So I'm going to open the Project Life app, and I'm going to go to the blue quadrant. Actually, let me show you week one. I'm going to go to the yellow quadrant. That's my library. I know a few of you were hoping for the basics of the Project Life app. I kind of already have gone through that but in another video, but maybe this will help you get a better idea. So here is... Here is week one, right here. So you can see, um, we've got the calendar, we've got some journaling, 
I've got the gray background. I'll show you where I do that. I've got the the white outline around the page around each picture. I can show you how to do that. So what I'm actually going to do here, I'm an X out of that. I'm going to go up to the X in the corner. And then now we'll hop over to the blue quadrant on this little circle-y thing. Um, it's the technical term, circle-y thing. So I'm trying to stick to a squared away template, mostly because you can fit a lot of pictures on them. I want to really, really want to stick to one page. The reason being is that two pages just takes up so much room in your album. I'm still going to do events in between my um, week my week pages. So I'll have week one and then I'll show you my album. I have a page that will go between week one and week two. Oh, that was about a little sledding that we had done. Um, I think I'm, I'm now losing focus and not looking at the squared away. Let's see, which squared away pocket do we want to use? So the reason I like these is you've got all these ones with the little, little ones, but I want to maybe try to avoid those if possible. I'll save those for a really busy week. This is the squared away 14 is the one I used last week. Let's try 15. So again, there's no science to picking a template. Um, I know I want squared away. A lot of times when I am going through this process, I don't know what template I start with. Honestly, before I start dumping my photos in, I just pick design A and I start putting my photos in and I just kind of see how they're going to lay out um, horizontally, vertically, size-wise, how many there are. And then um, the nice part about the app is you can change your um, template mid mid work flow with the page. So it is kind of nice. Um, I know some people kind of get overwhelmed, like they have to pick the right template off the bat, but you don't have to. You, you, I might even change the template when I'm working on this. So um, let me make sure we're still recording. Okay, good. <laughs> One time I like finished this whole like hour long video and it has stopped recording. So up here in the upper left hand corner, you can see these three bars. I think it's a little different for an Android phone. Um, I can't remember what they have, but we have three bars on the on the iOS. And here you pick your you pick your your color palette. This is where you're going to pick your background color. So the light gray color is in the Project 52 2016 edition. You can't even see it. Um, it's supposed to be right next to that dark gray, but it's so light that it's like almost the same color as the background. So I'm pressing on that. So again, you can't see it because it's so light, but here's the white, there's the light gray. But I like it because the white frame that I'll put around each picture pops off. So now I'm going to just press on the box. I'm just gonna start loading in my photos. Again, uh, no rhyme or reason. You can always, always change things. The great part about the app is it won't explode your phone <laughs> if you need to press a button that you're not sure about or if you want to change something you can always go back and redo it or um, mess up somehow it, you can't really mess up um, so don't be afraid to just to just trial and error that's why I've learned almost everything that I've done in all the apps that I work with so here's week two at the very bottom I've noticed that um the albums that I make most recently are at the bottom. It used to be, and before the update, that they would load into your um, app alphabetically, which I miss very much because I used to take great advantage of that by numbering my albums, and then they'd show up in the order in which I wanted to do them. But they don't anymore. So here's week two. We're going to open this up again. I'm just plunking pictures in. I'm not, I'm not, I can always move them. I can always change things. Um, 
when I do this, normally um, I kind of start by like doing this kind of spacing like every other space. Look at all that laundry. Oi, that isn't even my big boys laundry. They do their own laundry. So everything was washed. I just needed to fold it and it just took forever because I didn't fold it through all the holidays. So normally I try to start spacing things out. Now I'm gonna come to the point where I need to pick and choose. Um, here's the part, hard part about wanting it to be only one page is that I have a tough time deciding. So one thing that I really want in here is I wanna make sure that my other children are represented <laughs> because I do have more than just Francie. And I'm gonna have two of my 15 year old Luke there. And um, let's see. Oh, my pup looks so cute sleeping right there. Let's do, let's fill in this one right here with, the Mountain Dew can is kind of fun. Just showing how cold it is. <laughs> That's the Mountain Dew can that was like, was like buried in the back of our van and, and, um, I was cleaning things out and it, it appeared and it was very on the verge of exploding, which would have been really fun in my car. So this is, oh, I already have, look that, I already have a Mountain Dew can. Oh, good. That means I can put one more in. Let's put one in of me and my husband, because that never happens that they're ever in our album. Let's see. Now again, watch this. I can move things around. Oh, nothing exploded. <laughs> nothing happened. It's okay to move things and touch buttons and things. Um, now, now normally what I do is I edit my photos. So for, um, for this year, I decided to start using the air. It's right here. I'm going to press on it. I'm, I started using the air filter. Um, it brightens your photos. It kind of washes them out a little bit. This is my husband staying home on Monday and skipping work. <laughs> He's an attorney and it's actually really, really hard to skip work. You can't take vacations really. The holidays were crazy, crazy. And so he, um, Sometimes the things will lighten up and he won't have any calls or have any thing going on and he'll take a Monday and a Tuesday off, which is kind of random. Um, but it's also kind of nice. He, he went and like got a massage and saw a movie with his dad. And then we went out one morning and we got breakfast and got my car cleaned. And so that's kind of a glimpse into our everyday life is life as an attorney's wife is often lonely he works a lot and i do everything but that's okay that's what we decided to do in the beginning so there's my cute francie being crazy she's got to appear all the time i might i love this picture so much so this is a picture that i want to do like something else with like I love that you can see like the action like her legs are swinging back and forth she still has her coat on because sometimes she'll keep her coat on for like all afternoon sometimes she tries to nap in it and then she like wakes up sweaty hot <laughs> like you girl you're so crazy she got on her brother's lacrosse socks and anyway and then the dog of course has like gotten some stuffing out of some one of the stuffed animals Anyway, I just love that shot. Um, so again, this is part of my process too. I do this right in the app. I love it. So I just put a little, this one I might want to lighten even a little bit more. 
but you know what? I'm going to actually lighten it first and then do the air app, the air filter. So I'm not like applying it so it's like so much. I just want it. It's just kind of subtle. And I just kind of like, I just kind of like the overall look. Um, let's see. Where am I here? This is my cute, our cute pup, Truman. Francie calls him pup. And he's so cute. He waits for me to take a nap every afternoon. I'll like put Francie down. Then I'll like go change laundry loads or do a couple things. And then inevitably I'll wind up in bed. Um, and I'll take a an hour nap. That's one of the benefits of being a stay-at-home mom is you get to nap. <laughs> or I like to nap anyway. I, I know a lot of stay-at-home moms who don't. But I like to nap. But anyway, he always kind of waits for me. He'll wait for me in bed. He'll wait for me to come so he can snuggle up. It's the only time he won't sleep in our bed if... Um, my husband's in there or anything. He sleeps in his crate at night. But anyway, so, um, so you can see like the overall look of the air filter. It looks kind of nice. I kind of like it. So what I do now is I just, I kind of look through all the pictures. I want there to be kind of an even, um, coloration. So like if one picture is too, warm or too cool or um you get you get that right um sorry I'm not being very I'm not using language very well right now at the moment I'm a little distracted so you can kind of see um like okay so there's there's certain things that are going to bug me now that I'm going to start rearranging my pictures so do you see how my Jasper, and he's in that bright yellow shirt, and he's on the edge of the photo, and then Lukey is standing next to him right in the middle of the photo. I'm going to put Jasper on the edge because he's on the edge. And then Luke, I'm actually, I'm going to go back into PicTap Go, open it up. Up here on the right-hand side of, of the words PicTap Go, is that little kind of crop. So I can actually rotate the picture. I pressed on the rotation. I can rotate it either way. So sometimes I just feel like it, it's like a little bit more interesting if there's a couple pictures that are rotated. So a lot of people accept, now I don't like that his head's cut off. <laughs> so again, watch this. I can, oh, come on, my phone's kind of being slow. Oh, it didn't cut it off. Okay, good. I just had to get there. So I can undo it on this left, on this button here. You can undo things, and it, can, it will undo pick, tap, go stuff. Sometimes you'll lose your picture. Just go back and find your picture again, put it back in. It's no big deal. See, I'm going to change Francie just a little bit. I'm going to brighten her up just a little bit more. Oh, no, I'm not going to use that one. I like bright side, the, the, the um, filter bright side, because it brightens up the photo, but it doesn't wash it out. Like, I feel like lights on kind of washes it out. So watch this. You can see I'm going to press on the right-hand side of the picture, you can see the previous. See how it's just a little bit brighter. She is kind of like actually a little, <laughs> she's like the color of the sofa. Okay, and then if I press on the left side, you can see the original. So I'm just pressing on the picture with my thumb. Then I'm gonna press done. See how she's just a little bit brighter. So I just kind of look for that. This picture I want to stay the color it is because it's, at night but you can see now I'm gonna look at who's looking at the camera and I want to make sure that those pictures are kind of triangulated because that's where you're gonna catch your eye if someone's looking at you on your layout 
your eye is going to go to those pictures first. So like the one of me and my husband looking at the camera and the one of Francie and then the one of my son. Um, I, I'm putting those in a triangle. It kind of helps me decide, you know, what's going where. Um, I don't know. These are the things I think about when I'm doing my layout. So if it sounds crazy to you, skip over it. Don't worry about it. Don't even like stress about it, you know, but I, these are the things I think about because I'm a little bit of a wackadoo, but that's okay. So I'm going to actually slide my son up there. So now my pictures are down there. Okay. So my next step will be to, um, add my cards. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay. Still recording. Yay. Okay. My next step is going to be to add my card. So what I'm going to do is if you want to add from the project life app itself, you're going to press on the little card button and you've got all of your choices. Um, I personally either like project 52, the fresh, the fresh edition. I think it's really fun. I think there's a lot to work with. Um, and I also like the gather one. Um, I just passed it. Where is it? Um, here, it, oh, Blossom, I'm sorry. I like Blossom because it's got, like, I like the, that week too. That's kind of cool. Um, so what I'm going to do I'm not going to use this one though. I'm going to go to the, the picture option. I'm going to show you quick what. So in the picture, in your photo album, in this system picker, it says up here on the left-hand side. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm going to go to the iCloud. So this is where Android and iOS differentiate a little bit. Um, I, I don't even really know what your options are. Um, we have the option to go to Dropbox or to, oh, excuse me, I'm yawning. If this is your first video, you get used to it. I yawn all the time. It's, I'm, it's just, I don't know, just lack of oxygen. I don't, I don't know why. Anyway, so um, you go to your cloud and I go to browse. So you're going to see, well, it's going to open up to the last pack that I used. So I'm just going to go to, this is my file section in the Project Life app, or in, the, in, in my phone. Um, and that app actually looks like this right here. It's this little file, the little blue file. That's an iOS native app. So um, this is what it looks like when you open it up. So since the update... I have actually been storing my digital kits in the downloads section. Number one, they added the unzip option and that has changed so much. It's changed so much for my process. So when I download a kit from my website, from a website like the digital press or lily pad onto my phone, I can download the file, the zipped file right into my downloads. And then I can unzip it right here. And then I make an album for it. So let me quickly tell you about, I might make it a separate video about this, but how I do it is I do. So like you can see birthday cake AP. So, um, I do theme first. So you can see birthday, birthday, you know, you can see I have four birthday albums here. Um, cake is the name of the title of the kit. So, and then AP means Allison Pennington. So in my head, I know the designer and she's from the lily pad and I put the designer on there so that sometimes like I know what the designers, the feel of their kits are like. So Allison Pennington is one that I really like. I like her stuff a lot. I really love, um, Celine, Celine, I can never remember how to pronounce it. Anyway, I like her stuff a lot. Um, sometimes I'll just like, I can search AP right here and, and I go to downloads and it's going to show all of my Allison Pennington stuff. 
So actually it's not showing me exactly what I want. But anyway, that's beside it doesn't matter. So anyway, that's why I put it. That's why I put like here's December. So anything December related, December, here's the good life from Pixel Scrapper. Um, here's another AP. So I have some dog stuff. I have every day. So every day is the theme or that is like, you know, if I were to take that, that kit and put it in a file based on its theme, um, that's what's first. Because when I'm doing a page, I look for, usually I look for the theme first. So if I'm working on a fall page that had to do with the fall, I will, and I made a separate album for this. These are all my fall kits. You know, I will look for the theme first, then I put the title of it, and then I put the designer usually in an initial. So you can see like here's DBD, that's done by design. CD is Cornelia Designs. This is stuff that I remember. Some people like, okay, you guys, like I can barely remember my kids' birthdays. I Like I can if I have to think about it, but I know like all the designers' names, like they just stick in my head. It's just weird. Everyone just has their thing, right? Their weird little thing. So that's how I organize my kits. Um, so here's all my winter kits down here. Um, I'll probably, when winter is over, look, I have so many of them. I'll probably turn that into one whole file. So that's how I organize my kits. So what I'm looking for is January because we're working on January. I subscribed to the, um, memory pocket monthly kits from the lily pad. And I have decided to use, just use their pocket kits just to make it really simple. So I'm going to open up four by four. Now there's the bleed or no bleed. If you're new to the digital scrapbooking world, um, the bleed is a little bit of a space around the edge that if you're printing it, the printer, um, you know, sometimes the printer cuts, cuts things off. Like you don't have a full edge to edge. So we're, we don't need to worry about having a bleed because we're doing digital. So we'll go to no bleed. So I'm just going to plunk these in just for the sake. So I'm just going to press on this and it's going to go right into my page. Okay, I'm going to do this really quick now so I don't so I can stop talking. It's going to pull up the same the same kit that I was working on, but I don't want to look at the 4x4. Now I want to look at the 3x4 cuz it actually doesn't matter. Um I'm going to need something to record. So these might not be exactly what I end up using in the end for this page, but for the sake of just getting this done quick, because you guys, I can ramble and I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm going to put in this other January one again, and um, I will go in and I will highlight that. So now I'm like, ah, uh, now I need some color. So again, I like it because it pops right up. It's actually, this this can go really fast if you want it to. So one trick, if you buy a kit, a digital kit, you can use the papers in the Project Life app. They treat them just like a card. So like if I want it, and I can zoom in. See that? I can zoom in on it because it treats it like a picture. So you can kind of see, I'm going to use this this um, space here is going to be for a, um, that's going to be for journaling. So um, actually, you know what? Let me see here. So I've left that top section open because what I hope to do with that, let's go into the four by six ones. I have a calendar, write your own story. Ooh, I like that snap one. That one's kind of cute. And, oh, I was going to see if they had a January. I actually kind of like that idea. And then up here, see, this is where you can just, you just start playing, right? And we move and we move. And I'm just going to fill these in now so you guys can get an idea so we can move on here. 
Let's see if they made. What is this one? Ooh, once upon a time. Sorry, I haven't looked at making the making time for. You can always cover that up. Oh, you know what I wanted to put in here is my clean car. Because that was a miracle. Well, actually it wasn't. I We go get the car clean quite a I keep my car pretty tidy. Because they have those great just driving quick interior cleanups. I love those. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. But let me just show you quick. Um, if you press on the page. Now I'm going to add my white border on all my photos. These are just in the Project 12 2019 May overlays, which I have recited that time and again. So I'm just going to press on the photo that's right next to it. And you can see the app just slides over. And then we go down. I'm just pressing on the side of my phone where I see the photo that's not lit up. Sometimes it's there's not one there. Sometimes you've got to readjust things a little bit because the frame cuts things off. Oh no, that didn't turn off my, okay, good. <gasps> Sometimes you get notifications and it turns off your recording. Okay, so I have my phone on do not disturb, but it doesn't seem to, it's disturbing me. Stop disturbing me phone. Ugh, I hate it when this happens. So you just open, go to your May photo overlays. Sorry if I'm moving fast right now. So I just got my white borders around everything. So you can see that looks really nice. So for some reason on the three by four horizontal, we still have a little line there. So what I do, I don't know why they didn't fix that is I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna add a free form text. That's my text button. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna take, make an L and I am going to use a font that has a pretty straight L. I'm gonna make it really big and I'm gonna slide it over here and I'm gonna move it so it's like right. Oh, I gotta move it down a little bit. I'm just pulling with my finger. Oh, no, no, I'm not trying to. There, so now I've kind of covered up that line because that really bugs me. Um, okay, so you can see let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay, good. Sorry, I keep checking. <laughs> like I'm a little paranoid after I've been burnt on a couple, um, a couple videos I've made. So here's one issue that I've run into pulling things from my iCloud is um, I'm going to export this, and my the th these cards might not show up. Okay, so. Um, let, let's see if that happens. Export, 12 by 12, always 12 by 12. And save image. I always, always put it in my, I always save to my iCloud, my cloud camera roll because I know it's going to be backed up on my cloud. So, oh good, they all came through. Sometimes they're blank. And then I have to go in and add them again. But actually, I kind of like that for just kind of throwing it together. I haven't done the journaling yet. Okay, so that's a step that I'm skipping for the sake of you. So right now we're at this journal. So we've placed and edited our pictures. We've journaled. Um, I didn't add it to the album, so I can show you how I do that. So in the Project Life app, um, I'm going to update the page info. Oh, I can't remember what I've done yet. Okay, so we're going to add it to the folder. And we can see Family Album 2020 right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to open up. Oh, close out. Sometimes my app is kind of slow. Um, I'm going to go to my albums. Here's my family album so far. So, okay, this is what I'm doing. So this is this date right here. So 0101 is January 01. So that is the start date of this week. Um, this, this started, this week started January 01. 
So this week is, I think it's the fifth. Is that right? Let me look at the, yeah. So I'm going to label this. So I'm going to update my page info. So this, the name of this page for me, this is how I do it, is 0105. Okay, and, because, and so I'm going to apply. So what you're going to find, I'm going to close this out. So this page right here, this winter page, is 0104. That's the date of that event. Um, what I have found for 99% of the time, unless I'm doing, if I have more than one on a day, so if this winter page would have been two days, it would have been 0104B would be the second page. So it would be 0104 and then 0104B. Um, I could have done A, but I don't, 0104A and then OB, but I didn't. I just, anyway, um, I don't know why. I just did B. <laughs> and so um, that's if there was a second page to that. So you can see when you start filling it all in, they're going to naturally just all fall in order chronologically. Um, let me show you how it looks in my... Let's see. I don't know if I set it up. I did a little... Oh, I put 2019 first in here. But you can see... Um, I did a little different here. Let me go to my Dropbox. So the other thing that I do is I... Sorry, guys. It's getting a little messy here. And my app is moving kind of slow. So like when I pressed on my library, it just didn't go there right away. I want everything to move lightning fast. So um, let me show you. So the other place that I store my stuff, so right when it's done, I add it to the folder in, in Project Life. Um, if I'm going to add any embellishments to it in the Over app, I bring it into the Over app. Oh, you know what? The Over app's... Oh, it is going to work. I am connected to Wi-Fi. Anyway. Um, I'm not going to embellish it because that's something. But if I'm going to embellish it, I will do that. So you can see, embellish into over app. Export to camera roll. Embellish and overlap. And then when that's done, I'll export it to Dropbox. So let me show you. In Dropbox, I love Dropbox. You guys, I cannot tell you enough how much I love Dropbox. I wish they'd add an unzip option. Maybe they do have one, but... <laughs> And I just, I love it. it. You can access it anywhere. It like, you can store anything. You can still organize things in folders. I just, I can't, I mean, it is like universal. Dropbox is not going anywhere. I know some people use Shutterfly because it's free. People use free stuff. That's fine. I will pay for Dropbox. It's not that bad for a yearly. I pay for the full year. And um, I haven't even filled one terabyte yet and I have all my pictures on it my camera roll backs up to Dropbox so technically I have my um like the page I just exported that'll be saved three different in three different places um it'll be in Dropbox twice once in my camera roll and then also I'm going to upload it into my album and then it'll also be in my camera roll so Anyway, um, so I'm going to go into my 2020 album. That's my little plug for Dropbox. But um, I just like it because I can access it anywhere. So you can see in my 2020 albums, so in my albums, I've created folders for the different sections, the different places that my pages could go. So I have my family album. I have Francie. I make her 12 by 12 pages. And I also make Francie favorites. Um... In the boys, I haven't made any pages for them yet. Um, and I, I tend to not make as many for them, so I just put them all. And then mom and dad, like if I make a page that's for me specific, that's this page won't go in my family album. This will go 
into my own album. I have my own album. Well, it's actually me and my husband's. So like any trips we take together, I'll do a highlight page maybe in our family album. But then I'll do, you know, six or seven pages in in our separate album. So in my family album, right now I only have two. I am going to, oh no, I didn't. Oh my goodness, shame on me for not renaming that. Um, I'm going to rename this. Sorry, I get really anal about the naming part because that is what keeps it in chronological order. And that to me is essential. So um, I'm going to go here to upload photo. And then here's my page. Next. And then I'm going to rename it 0105. Done. And upload. And so now I'm in my Dropbox. So this is the process I go through for every page. Um, let me show you my 2019 album quick while we're in here. This is my 2019 family album. I did it a little bit differently this year because I just figured out. So you guys, I'm not an expert. Like seriously, like look at how messy this is. Like I just am figuring out my system. It takes a long time for me um, to figure out my system. Like this, the, this, these are all the pages that I've made and it's like in 2019, no rhyme or reason, but I did in my family album, you can see. Um, so I talked about doing the date. So 0104, oh, look at, we sledded on the same day last year too. Um, there's some sledding pictures and then like 0128, this is our anniversary. So, um, I just did, that's our wedding picture, but I just thought I'd put that in there. Um, and then you can see here I did A and B, 131.0131. And I put the zero first because if you put one first, um, if you don't put a zero, when you get to the tens and elevens, it starts, it starts messing it up. So I put 01 first. But you can see, like, this is all in chronological order just from using the date as the title. And because it's not mixing with any other folders, it's no big deal. Um, I could put 2019 at the end if I wanted to, but I don't. Maybe I'll shoot myself in the foot for not doing that in the future at some point. But for right now, it seems to have worked out. So you can see that everything is in order. So now we're into June. Um, July 07. Um, and so now when, um, the nice part about it is when I go into, when I upload these to blurb or persnickety, the title of that's going to be the title on the back that they print on the back. So the title will be the date and then I'll know the order if things get messed up, which they normally go in in order. So so that is my process, you guys. I hope that that helps. This I got a little rambly. I always do. Um, but I hope that you can have, kind of understand how that's my process for making a page. Again, I didn't show you um, if I were to, like I didn't show you journaling. I didn't add any journaling. I didn't, I'll go back and do that. But um, I also didn't show you how I embellish it in the over app, which I'm not doing um, with these pages, with, with these weekly pages. I'm trying to keep them as simple as possible, so I'm not embellishing them in the over app. I could. I have all the, I have the elements to do so. Um, but again, I really hope that that helps. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, and I really hope that you guys can figure this out. Again, I'm just going to tell you one more time. This seriously has taken me, you know, years to kind of nail this process down, especially when it comes to um, the organization in Dropbox and the titles of the photo of the pages. Those things, I mean, it was just enough for me to get get creating and, and get my mind wrapped around making a page let alone making sure it was organized in my storage, in my 
clouds and things. So if that doesn't come as easily to you in the beginning, it's okay. Like you'll figure out your system. Just, um, just keep working at it and keep figuring out what works for you. Um, everyone kind of does it a little bit differently and there's nothing wrong with, you know, taking some time to figure it out, but don't let it stop you from creating and, and keeping your memories. Cause that's the most important part in the end. Um, Okay, I hope you guys have a great night. Talk to you later.